How's it going? This is Chris. So before I start talking about the topic right over here, the print on demand that I want to do, I'm just going to give a little update, let you know that I'm finally going to be back at the dealership starting tomorrow, my birthday, I'll be 22, uh, May 14th. The way it's going to work now, it's just going to be, I'm going to be on the phones for half the day at home and then at the dealership the other half of the day. The schedule switch around throughout the week. Time to sell some cars, time to get better, time to talk to more people. Uh, wear my mask, of course. Uh, mask right over there. Oh, yeah, that's not the... Uh, yeah, that's not correct mask I want to use. Alright, so let me get into it. The reason why I wanted to make this video is so I can give a, sort of a step-by-step -step guide on what I plan on doing, you know, based on doing some research, based on watching some other people, based on some reading on Google and everything. I just want to give my little um, input on what I plan on doing and how I plan on starting my print-on-demand business. What I started by doing is making a Printful account and an Etsy. I already had an Etsy since 2017. Tried to sell some items, didn't do anything. You know, I haven't looked at it since. So I finally integrated Etsy with Printful, so that's good. And now, one sort of niche, or one sort of topic that I'm trying to hit, like a little trend, is the Father's Day niche, since that's uh, going to be in a month and I already missed Mother's Day. But yeah, so right now, the current phase that I'm doing is the researching phase. So by that, I mean I was just going on Etsy, going on Amazon, going on Google, just typing in uh, Father's Day mugs, funny Father's Day mugs, funny mugs. I'm just looking at different slogans, different phrases on the mugs, and honestly, you know, that was really entertaining. I really enjoyed looking at them. I really enjoyed reading them. So I just took a bunch of screenshots on my phone. It was fun. I showed them with my little brother, too. He was laughing at them. But, you know, after doing that research, I was able to get about uh, 33. I think I took about 33 pictures. Actually, I'm going to show all the ones that I found right here. So these are all the pictures that I found. I'm just going to go through them right now. <laughs> that one's funny. I don't know which one I'm pointing at, but they're funny. <laughs> but they're funny. But anyway, uh, these are all the images that I found. So what I'm going to do now is just going to go on Canva, going to go on Photoshop, uh, and just start basically redoing the design, doing them, making it my own, uh, using a different font, maybe do, using a different style, adding some color, adding some, you know, pictures maybe. I actually already started doing some. I was able to do about three designs. I'll show one design up right now. It's a rough design. You know, I still want to keep going for more. Definitely, definitely making designs a lot better and cleaner. The way I want to do this and the way I want this business to work right now is just by trying out two different things. The first one is the simplistic, you know, easy designs, popular, funny, or just font styles. So that seems something that's popular, even though, you know, some might be really simplistic and easy and it's like, oh, that doesn't take a lot of work. You know, it's a bestseller for some reason. That's what I don't understand, but, you know, the people want the people want. So that's what I'm planning on doing first. And after I go through all my 30 designs or so, I'm going to go back, research some more different designs, and this time taking a lot more time and actually designing, you know, more beautiful designs. Um, I'll, you know, post the update as soon as I, ha I have that done. But that's sort of my plan right now. Just going back, finding even more designs, and just making them more poppy, more stylish. That's where I can put my creative spin, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of work. I'm going to be listening to a lot of Spotify on this phone. Just plug in some music and just start, you know, going at it. Definitely something that I want to start doing more instead of just you know, start exploring more of my creative aspect, my creative side. You know, I always thought I didn't have a creative side. I always sort of, you know, minimized it saying, oh no, I can't do it, I can't do it. But you know, that's way too much negativity I'm putting in myself. And it's just, that's such a waste of time. That's a waste of space. That's a waste of my mental space that I'm doing, just putting myself down. So no more, so no more of that. I'm just gonna go for it and just do it, you know. You learn in the process. Yeah, some things might not turn out good, but you know, you, you live and learn, you keep doing them, you practice them. So that's phase one that I want to do. Now going for phase two, after I actually put the items on Etsy, after I put my mug designs and everything, hat designs, whatever designs I'm planning on doing, you know, then probably comes the advertising part. So that's going to be very interesting. I did dwell with Facebook ads in the past. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that account anymore. Uh, I sort of messed up. I'm still appealing again. Um, lost it back in October. Appealed November, nothing. Appealed December, nothing. Kept getting rejected. Uh, I don't have my account reinstated. That's pretty sad, so, you know, it is what it is, it's whatever. So, there's two other ways I plan on advertising. One, through Instagram influencers. The way I plan on doing Instagram advertising through influencers first is creating an Instagram page for my Etsy, which I still didn't do. That's genius, actually, that's a really good idea. I should do that first. Uh, that's what I have to do. And start making some, you know, some relevant posts, some posts for Father's Day, some posts for designs and bugs and everything, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And I'm also going to try Google Ads, most likely. Did do a bit of Google Ads, not much. Uh, so I have very little experience. I'll just consider it like zero experience. I also had problems with that account in the past, but it was mainly because I created two accounts and they had an issue with the payment because I used the payment twice. 
but that was resolved. I just gave a call to one of the customer supports, um, and the woman was nice enough. She helped me. She helped reinstate my account, so everything's all good with that now. And the third form of advertising is probably going to be through YouTube ads. So I have no space in this whatsoever. I never did YouTube ads before. Never did any form of um, you know ads on YouTube in the past or anything. But it's definitely going to be something to look at. All right. So one thing's for sure. This isn't going to be an overnight success. It takes hard work. It takes dedication. It takes time. It takes persistence. You know, to get good at these things, to learn these things, to learn the designs and everything. See what works, see what doesn't. But, you know, that's the point of a business. You know, you keep trying and trying, you know, until something works and something sticks. I don't expect overnight success. I don't expect, you know, success to come. I do expect orders, of course. But I don't expect massive growth immediately. You know, growth takes time. Growth takes years. You have to start somewhere, and this is where I'm starting. Yeah, it would have been better if I started in 2017 and just kept doing it. But, you know, it is what it is. It's 2020 right now. And, you know, that's three years later. I'm ready. I feel, you know, a lot better than I did before. Still getting my confidence. Uh, still getting better. But, you know, improvement every day. And that's what counts. This is going to be really fun. This is actually going to be a business model I'm going to enjoy. You know, not only because it's selling things online, but it's also because I get to create my own designs. In the past, I always liked, I always liked messing with Photoshop or Illustrator. I uh, recently got into Ins Ins Inkscape, you know, before trying to make um, some logo designs. I was never, I was never good at them. Uh, it always took me time. I didn't understand the colors, uh, the color theory. Didn't, you know, didn't really try to learn as much like that. I just sort of kept doing things, kept messing with them. Uh, did my own sketches, and then just transported them to the computer, and then just sort of traced it and you know messed around with it. It was fun. But now, you know that now that I'm starting this, I'm going to take it a lot more seriously. I know my time is going to be very limited now since I'm working again um, 8:30 to 8, but that's okay. Uh, when I'm put under pressure like that, I know I am actually able to do things. Because when I have no set schedule, everything just goes chaotic. I have no plan. I have, I have no plan. I end up being unproductive. I don't end up doing too much. I end up playing too much video games, League of Legends, uh, Team Fight Tactics, which I rarely do now. Ever since I started back at my job two weeks ago, during that month where I was, you know, out of the work, that's all I did. I just played so much all day. Uh, at least worked out. Did a little calisthenics. Um, that was good. Now that I actually have a set schedule again, now that I'm working 8:30 to 8. Time's gonna be more restricted. I'm gonna be a lot more disciplined. I'm gonna be cooking, you know, my food in advance, cooking in bulk, meal prepping again. I'll be working out in the morning again uh, before work. Now I can work hard again. Now I can talk to more people, even if it's just on the phone, even if it's in the showroom, anything, and just keep getting better and better and improving. And that's exactly what I want. Just keep getting, just to keep better at talking, to keep better at, you know, expressing my feelings, expressing my interaction with other people just be able to speak clearly, you know, which is one of the reasons why I started this channel. I know I mentioned that in my previous video, but, you know, it's good to mention it again. So I can keep talking and just keep practicing. Because you're not going to get better if you don't practice. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say today. You know, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for watching my little plan. And, you know, the reason I'm also making this is just to keep myself accountable. Because I have the bad habit of starting things and then just never finishing it. And then just, then just putting it out for a year, two years, and then going right back to it again. You know, that's exactly what happened with this, with Etsy. I started this three years ago. You know, I didn't see any success. I stopped it. And then I'm starting it back up again in 2020. You know, I have other stories that I did, things that I started in the past and I'm doing again. But, you know, that's for another day. That's for another video. Anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching, even if it's just one person or two people or 10 or 100. But, you know, it is what it is. And I know if I keep consistent, then this is going to grow and this is going to be fun and this is going to be a hell of a journey. So that's why I wanted to say today, thanks for watching and have a good one.